Travis, uh, what stands out to you about Timothy Lilligren? What's the feel like when uh, you're out with him? I love playing with Timmy. Um, you know, we've played together for a while. Um, we have some history down with the Marlies together. Uh, right when we, we came over, we were partners for a little bit. So um, it was nice kind of introducing him to uh, the North American game. Um, and I feel like we, we just have that uh, built up in our history. So now that, now that I get to play with him and see what he's turned himself into, um, you know, it's, it's great to see and it's great to watch and be able to support a guy that uh, you've kind of been there right since he's came over. Um, you know, and playing with him, he makes the game pretty easy on me. So it's, uh, I do love playing with him, that's for sure. How does he make it easy on you? Hey, you know, he's such a good puck mover. Um, and he's so deceptive that I think that, um, you know, when his skating gets going and, and he, he gets his head up, he's a uh, he's pretty hard guy to forecheck. So so hopefully that means he doesn't need me as much uh, for, for outlets. But, um, yeah, he's, he's so good with his skill. And I think, um, you know, his confidence coming along, um, has really shown that and shown his ability and what he's able to do, um, especially offensively. And then uh, it really shows how sound he can be defensively as well. Goals in four straight for Mitch since he came back from COVID. What's standing out to you about the way he's playing right now? Yeah, Mitch is on fire. Um, whenever, we miss, whenever we don't have him in the lineup, we definitely miss him. Um, not just his uh, amazing skill, but just his energy, I think, around the rink um, really uplifts our team, um, gets us excited for whatever we have to face. Um, and then also, obviously, he's, uh, he's producing pretty well for us. So, um, you know, you'd you love to see that out of a guy that, uh, of his stature, I guess. Um, and he, he definitely makes it easier on us as well when, uh, when he's buzzing like this. Next up, we'll go to Terry Koshan, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, good morning, Travis. Hey, uh, Rich Clune hit 700 uh, games last night as a professional hockey player. What comes to mind when you think of Rich and the obstacles he's had to overcome to get to that? Yeah, Richie's probably one of the best, uh, I guess, role models um, that you could ask for on a team. Um, and I think that's probably part of the reason that he's, he's still here and been here so long um, is because the team knows um, what a hidden gem, hidden gem we have with, uh, with Dickey. Uh, you know, especially with the young guys coming into the Marlies, um, he's such a good role model for, for letting guys be themselves, but also being hard on guys that need to, be, uh, need to have someone on them. So... He's, uh, he's always been there for me, um, personally, on and off the ice, uh, which I can never thank him enough for. Um, but yeah, just being able to see him reach, reach this milestone is huge. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Dickie ain't slowing down anytime soon. Great. Thanks, Travis. Thanks. We'll take one more here. We'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. Travis, why do you think Michael Bunting is, is good at drawing penalties? <laughs> uh, well, it, I don't want to say rat by any means, but he loves to get out there and uh, get in guys' faces and work hard. And I think uh, with his work ethic, I think it just it gets on guys' nerves uh, a little bit. You know, he uh, he's never backing down from a battle, no matter how big the guy is. Um, and I think that just kind of gets on guys' edges, and uh, they maybe take a couple shots at him, try to get him off his game or something. But um, he does that so well, and he's able to play his game without uh, without really getting too much, not unfocused, I'd say, but it works so well with his game. Um, just the way that he plays and the way that he's able to play hard and get in guys' faces without, without sacrificing um, any of our team play. Uh, I think that's, that's almost a skill, I'd say, that you'd say. Um, you could say is a big, uh, big aspect for our team that we love to see out of him. And um, it's always nice having, uh, having a couple of guys on your team that like to kind of get the other team uh, off their game a little bit. Um, and he's obviously pretty good at doing it. So uh, I think just the harder he plays and he keeps doing this, it'll just keep happening like this. And um, I'm pretty happy about it. 